Hey everyone, it's Jared and today we're going to be checking out the GoPro Motorplex Karting Challenge Round 4 highlights from my perspective. I drive that number 75 car in the LO206 Senior 365 class, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. So for qualifying, you get that three lap attempt, you get the green flag, the white flag, and the checkered flag to try and set that best time. Managed to squeak out a 58.617, which was good enough for P15. Nothing to write home about, but I'll take it. You know, I'm still learning this, still pretty new at party in general. So as I get, you know, more seat time, hopefully we can start wheeling these times down a little bit. But just a quick lap around the track for qualifying. checking out the pre-final starting at p15 looking at all these much faster carts ahead of me trying to figure out what i can possibly do to work my way up this field so going down the tram lines waiting for that green flag and it does drop and we do get a pretty clean start green flag drops we head into one in typical jared fashion let's go ahead and give up three to five cart lengths and a position is an added bonus before we even make it to turn three. Not panicking yet, but at least I know I'm consistently bad at starts. As we head into four, I realize I have a little bit more top end, so I do get one of those positions back. Coming around back into four, looking ahead at the three carts in front of me. And for whatever reason, I decided to take four too wide and give up one spot to the inside, but I do make up one spot to the 77 cart there on the outside. So, didn't change my position at all, just gave one up to earn one. Check out these two going too wide through eight and nine, bumping side to side. They're both fighting for that position, and it was really fun to watch. So I thought I'd throw this clip in there. Just, just good racing, fun to watch stuff like this. So right now, my carburetor is getting ready to execute its plan of revenge on me for the terrible job I did cleaning it before the race. It's going to let me do about 3,600 RPM full throttle, and every car is going to blow right on past me as I limp along, trying to make it to the exit. Realizing that the carburetor, the main jet, and piece of debris that decided to clog that head one. I reluctantly pull over into the grass and feel shame watching on as everyone else completes the race. Looking like they're having an absolute blast, but I'm just going to sit there and think about what went wrong. Gonna check out the final now, starting P20. Did manage to have a nice conversation with my carburetor and we worked our differences out, so hopefully you know, we can work together and do some positive things this race. Also made some serious set of changes based on some advice and some fellow drivers. So not really sure how this car's gonna handle, but we're gonna see what we can do for the final starting at last. Going down the back straight, I'm going to look to the inside of the number six car as we go into four, and I'm going to make that position up right there. It felt pretty good. As we go through five and six, you're going to see a few carts go off track and kick some dust up. 
Nothing major, just the people got back on track and it looked like everyone finished the race from that incident. Here it is from another angle. Going down the main straight, I'm going to look to the inside on turn one of the 66 car and make that position up. Not super clean, because I'm also going to ensure that GoPro's curbing has not moved and it's still right there by driving over just about every bit of it I can. Next lap or two, I managed to close the distance here on the 77 car, which feels pretty good. I just got to be smart and not make a boneheaded move like I did in round three, where I tried to pass someone on turn eight and I'm getting like three spots. So I'm going to exercise a little bit of patience here and wait for a more opportune moment to make a pass on them. But it was fun just kind of following them. And, you know, even just a great confidence booster to close that gap on them. He had, you know, at least half a straight on me at one point. Falling them through one and two, the cart felt really good and stuck, and I just noticed that I just had a little bit more acceleration than him as going through three. I'm going to look to the inside of turn four and see if I can make it stick, which I do, so that felt pretty good. Now what doesn't feel so good is when you're going into turn one and you look to your right and this zero cart comes out of nowhere right by me. He decided to do a little bit of a curbing check too, so I hope he had fun doing that, but he was off. And I'm going to focus for the next few laps trying to catch back up to him and get that position back. going to take that inside line and attempt to make that pass on me in turn one. What she does successfully, I'll give him that pass. But I learned my lesson battling that zero card the last few laps. Not swing wide, just lift a little bit. Keep the proper line and get right behind him. So we go through three, he's going to do the moving forward aerodynamic mode and I am just going to rely on engine top end. Take the inside line going into four and immediately get that position back. Now my goal is just to keep this for the rest of the race. I'm focusing on those two ahead of me, trying to run a good line, and just make sure that that three pin card doesn't get back on my bumper. Keep 
come off my tail. I'm going to finish in P14, which I'll take considering I started in the very back. Thank you so much for watching. We had a great time in round four. We look forward to round five. Huge thanks goes to Noah at Noah Stark Engine Works for the engine for the weekend. Check us out on YouTube. Gomez Karting is the name of the channel. One last time, thanks for watching, and we will see you all at round five back at GoPro in July.